I'm at the Impact Hub in Boulder, which is a place to get help new businesses get started up. Uh, this is Jen. Can you tell me a little bit about your background and uh, what your business is and motivations for starting it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so my background is in uh, finance, operations, and interior architecture. Uh, professionally, prior to completing my degree, I've probably held about two dozen jobs, um, always staying busy when classes changed, schedule changed, and I had to get a new job, jumped on the opportunity. Um, currently, um, all my experiences have brought me to being with uh, my current startup, Project Travel. We help get more young travelers on the plane um, when students and uh, first-time travelers are wanting to do programs like study abroad and volunteering, um, specific educational programs. We help them navigate the process. Uh, we work directly with program providers, study abroad offices and such to um, get more students on the plane. And that really came from my own experiences. Um, as a student, I couldn't afford traveling, couldn't navigate the process very easily. Uh, and so about 10 years ago, um, when I suffered from not being able to go, that really hit a pain point. And then taking all of my experiences and um, career experience and everything, I decided three years ago that it was time to jump both feet in and kick this off. And three years later, we are um, working with investors right now, uh, finishing up a, f a, f a round. Um, so what potential do you exciting. think lies in your company, and uh, how are you doing it different than other companies to make yours successful? Hmm. Um, we have the potential to bring technology in, not just to fix technology, but as a way to enhance human interactions. Um, Oftentimes people think that, that the solution is to digitize everything, but you really have to look at what the process is and, and how you're going through it. So uh, we believe that we're taking a unique approach to, I don't say like unique, like it's completely different, but I think we're, we're taking, we're kind of standing back and I think we're taking a smart approach to how to use, um, for how to use technology with the um, solution that we're providing. The differentiator for us really comes from the pairing of my background with my co uh, my, my co-founder, my business partner's um, background. She comes directly from international education. Her career was built on traveling abroad, through school, through programs, working in the offices, helping others to be able to go on these programs. Um, and I'm the complete opposite of wanting to travel and doing it some on my own, but not being able to navigate that. And so it's a great balance of me actually not knowing the field helps me come from a perspective that doesn't that kind of challenges the status quo, challenges what's already been done, mm -hmm. um, but she has the inner knowledge working to know how we can work within the system. So it's a nice balance to see how can you work within the system that's already set up, but change things up a little bit so or you can actually make progress. how long has taken so far uh, for that first stage? Um, it, took, it took about two years to get to a, um, a working live model. We were about six months in beta. Um, the first year was me navigating how to be an entrepreneur, even though I um, was running some of the companies uh, when I was in finance, uh, I was an officer running we had a handful of companies, and I felt like I knew what it meant to be an owner on one hand, um, but when you are an entrepreneur and you're given a blank sheet of paper, and it's like, okay, you know how to make things better with existing systems, but how do you actually create something from scratch? It's, it's a lot different. Um, and so the first year was kind of me learning how to be an entrepreneur, navigating that, just figuring out what, what the plan was, um, finding people to join the team. At one point, you know, I had eight or nine people that I'd be working with. Um, the team changes as you go through time. Had a developer, lost a developer, went to learn how to code myself. Uh, and then that's kind of when we finally got a product out um, in alpha. So it was about, maybe about a year. Yeah, before we actually had something like the users What are your expectations too. for the future of the company? Where do you want it to go? Uh, to the moon. We're going to take <laughs> people to the moon. Um, you know, for us, a startup is not about a great idea that we can flip in two years and get acquired and make millions on. Um, we're going to do really well because it's it's a problem that needs to be solved um, that's not being focused on the way that we're looking at it. And so we really see this as a great challenge that we can address the U.S. market and then go international and really help everyone become better world citizens, you know, creating these world citizens that you can explore your world. Um, and that process is just a lot easier and more fun to approach. Um, so
so really it's, it's taking over the globe. Some of my major takeaways from my interview with Jen and her company Project Travel uh, were definitely the importance of networking. Uh, especially with her company or any new startup, uh, raising awareness of what you're trying to sell or what product or service you're going to offer uh, is definitely huge and also huge in uh, attracting potential investors. Uh, another thing that I took away was um, she started the company because of her interest in travel, and I think that relates to our case, Walden Paddlers, and uh, what we learned from Verinder, where sometimes your interests and your uh, values, your passions, can be one of your strongest assets in starting a company. And I think that's awesome for um, our proposal for Indian Peaks Mountain Adventures because it's something that I'm passionate about, something I have experience in and really enjoy doing. And I think uh, when you try and start a company with uh, <clears throat> values like that, with, that follows your passion, then uh, you have more momentum, you uh, enjoy what you're doing more, so it doesn't really feel like work, and I think that gives you a leg up.